Today is a very special day. Um, I'm going to pick up a couple of vehicles that I've bought blind. I have no idea what I've bought really. And, um, well, I know roughly what I bought, but I don't know what they look like. And uh, they're a lot more exciting than that. It's a lot more exciting than that. And it's a lot more exciting than that over there. I'll tell you in a minute. Better is I'm being driven down by the low loader. So I haven't even got to drive. Don't forget we've like, got lots of these little load alls. Wonderful things. If anyone needs them, grab one quick. Well, they've gone, they've gone. More exciting than that. Are we nearly there yet? Not quite. <laughs> How long are we going to be? Are we nearly there yet? Uh, apparently we're 2.3 miles away. Oh, it's exciting, isn't it? I feel like a kid coming up to Christmas. <laughs> I've never owned one of these. One of them owned a couple, but only shitters. And uh, this is a Minter. And then the other one, well, I've only ever dreamed of owning one. And there we go, it's happened. It's, I think so. I can't see anything green yet. I'd be more encouraged if I saw green. Oh, it's looking cool. Quack, quack. Looking very cool. That's one of them anyway. Anywhere you like. Right, well. Go that's well. Yeah. That looks very nice. Very nice indeed. Now I've had a couple of rough. Well, I've still got one actually somewhere down the field. It got stuck and I left it there. But uh, yeah, that looks really cool. My God, is that the bilge? That must be a bilge. So you stick that when you sink in. And get a couple of fit blokes wazzing that up and down. Oh, you could camp in that. In fact, I think I will. I might sleep in it tonight just so I get the smell of canvas. And we've got all this clobber at the back end here. Oh, you've got your, got your navigation light. You've got to have a navigation light because it's a boat. Not just a lorry, it's a boat. Oh, we're gonna have some fun with this. Oh, it's got a proper bang stick in it as well. That still goes bang. What a lovely little thing. Now, I've always wanted one of these. Uh, oh God, you've got an amphi car as well. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, so there you go. Ooh, those tyres are about ready to fall off. They won't be. Oh, I don't know, they've been on there 80 years. They might go another few, mightn't they? Now that's how you get in at the front there. That's your gear lever. That's your breech block. Yeah, a lot of people don't leave their breech block in. It'll need a, it'll need a brown in just there, and it'll need a brown in down here. Yeah, lovely. And that is the radial engine, and that is the fire extinguisher that you always have ready when you start it, because apparently they can flash up sometimes. Wow, that's quiet. I didn't even know he started it. Um, I may have to uh, have a little look up there and see what he's doing, because um, it'd be me unloading the bloody thing. It looks big. Will I get that round Abingdon Marina? There's a sharp turning. If not, we'll have to, uh, well, have to have a chat to him, knock a few fences down take the corner off. Looking cool. Now the one I sold that was um, had a few holes in and looking a bit rough, um, I did say that it would give me first refusal but I don't suppose I need that now do I? It's a beauty. It's not as wide as you thought there, Kieran. Got a splash guard at the front and a bit where a winch can be fed out of that hole in the front. Has it got enough clutch to get up the hill? Looks pretty good to me. Looks very good. Is the back gonna touch? No, not quite. Now I guess he's in uh, low range and maybe six wheel drive. Right, this is the tricky bit. I'll tell you what, it's going to be very tight. Very tight. We're going to have to go right up on the neck. Bloody hell, that's got some push, isn't it? We're going to have to be touching the we may have to move that wood. Gonna move. Yeah, you're going to have to move all that wood. You're going to move stuff on the floor. You're going to have to sort your wood out, Kieran. 
Can I say that? Yeah. He's got a wood problem. Now oh, look, there's a bung hole under there. Look, that hole's useful. Yes. Are they inside the vehicle? Yeah, there's a lot of big bung holes missing. They'll soon go down with them missing, I'll tell you. Hopefully they're fitting some electric bilge pumps. If they haven't, I'll be putting some absolutely huge ones in. If only to squirt the um, paddle boarders. How cool. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, that'll do. Have we got the room to go back? we may have to back it off because of the, the middle bit is I think that it's six feet from the front not from the back we can try it but if you see those middle idlers it's not it's not central is it when you look at it the two bogies the gap where you're going to get most difference in the suspension is just there so we may have to get that on the tilt of the lorry um, I'd say that's a pretty... Oh no, he's squaring up okay. Don't turn very well now.
Now you gotta like one of these. This yeah. is called a 770 yeah. Amphi car. Are they front wheel drive? Rear. No, rear. Rear, so that might be a little bit of a problem. You're exiting. No, just take a bigger run up. Just bigger run up, up. plenty never, of. Never not found. Oh, I have one tonight. You took it this. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a gorgeous, go gorgeous fast. little yeah. car. You just go fast, Nick. But they're a lot of money now. They are. What's that worth? I had one last February and I paid 52 grand. That was for cheap, it. wasn't it? And I had to do a whole load of work yeah. to it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I saw these at Henley on Thames chucking along. I'd be Land Rover in. We had a hell of a day. Yeah, very, very clever bit of kit. And this is a Humber, a Humber armoured car, I do believe. I've never seen a spring going that way. That is bloody weird, isn't it? And this is just a light restoration. This will only take you, what, two years? Holy shit. I would... No, not really. I would just push it into a hole and probably bury it. But there we go, what do I know? Yes. That's not rust, that's patina. Fucking hell. Would you want to get involved in this? No. Probably worth quite a lot of money as it sits. Actually, as it sits. And there's 